Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on one-to-one -one correspondence. One-to-one -one correspondence at kindergarten level involves students being able to recognise that two groups have the same number of objects in them. If two groups do not have one-to-one -one correspondence, then they do not contain an equal number of objects. Here's a simple example. Count the number of objects in each group and write the answer in each square. So they would count these objects here and write 5. They would count these ones and write 5. We can then ask the students if the number of objects in each group is the same. They should say yes. Then ask them to draw lines to match one to one. What do they notice? So in other words, you would be asking them to draw lines from an object in group one to an object in group two, just like that. And then you ask them what they notice. Each object in the first group has a partner in the second group and each object in the second group has a partner in the first group. This is the test for one-to-one -one correspondence. Here's another example. Here's the first group with the numbers 1 to 6. The next group, the letters A to F. For the above two groups, ask the students to draw lines so that each number in the first group has a letter partner in the second group. Then, ask them if each letter in the second group has a number partner in the first group. The answer is yes. So, there is one-to-one -one correspondence between the two groups. Students should have ended up with the two groups looking as follows. So, all the letters and all the numbers have partners. It can be clearly seen that no object in either group is without a partner. Hence, we have one-to-one -one correspondence. Here's another example. For the above two groups, draw a line from each rabbit in the first group to one carrot in the second group. What do you notice? Students should say that each rabbit is partnered with one carrot. They should also say that there is one carrot left over. That is, one of the carrots is not partnered with a rabbit. Hence, the two groups do not have one-to-one -one correspondence. So this is a very interesting little topic, one-to-one -to -one correspondence. Students will actually do a lot more of this work as they go on with their school careers. But it's a very good little starting exercise for students to understand how groups operate and how to share groups equally and how to divide them. So later on it actually leads on to sharing. And when we're given a certain number of objects in a particular group, the students will be asked to share these objects equally, for example, between two people. But that will be later on.